So, Patricia, um, first of all, congratulations. Uh, so I heard the good news uh, a couple of days ago that you indeed uh, got an offer from McKinsey Digital. And yeah, ch tell us a little bit about it. So how did you how did you get the happy news? So did they call you at the very same day or uh, did they call you a little bit later and let you wait? So how, how did it go? Yeah, actually, it happened all a lot faster than I expected it. So after my second round, I really got a call 30 minutes afterwards and they invited me to the final partner round. And they even asked me if I, I want to do the final partner round uh, on the same day. So um, I, I had yeah then also the final partner interview on like the Friday evening. And yeah, in this interview, they already um, extended me the offer which was yeah, very great and all happened much faster. <laughs> so that, uh, that indeed sounds uh, like you uh, were performing on a really, really high level because this is not what they're usually doing, I suppose. Um, pretty cool. So, um, I mean, yeah, if you, if you reflect back on um, where you stood when we were starting the, the coaching program and also the development path that you took during your preparation. So, um, what are your saw, thoughts here? Was, what was like the most significant uh, change that fueled your success? Would there be any aspects that um, you can single out partic as particularly helpful? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, there are two things for me. And the first thing was really understanding what they are looking for in an interview yeah. and how I can present that in the interview. So it's really from, you know, the start of the interview, from the introduction to the end, from your questions. And of course, especially during the case part. So understanding what, or how does a good solution to a case look like? And, you know, it's not all these inconsistent solutions that you find in case books, but it's, it's really showing a logical and structured way of thinking. And, um, yeah, the second point for me was definitely that I had one structured resource that I can, you know, consume for my interview preparation. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, it limits the scope of this by a factor of, you know. Yes, it's, it's, <laughs> it's massively because it's and, and two, two comments on that. I mean, uh, with regards to you, to your first point. Um, yes, uh, this is indeed super, super helpful to understand what they are looking for. And in the end, and this is also how we basically designed the, the program, because this program is not for you mastering your interview. This program is indeed rather for you knowing how a senior consultant is working and approaching problems like a senior consultant. Yes, and this is what they are testing and therefore it is so successful. And um, I mean, with regards to uh, your second point, yes, it's designed in an end to end way. So uh, no need to uh, look anywhere else and create inconsistencies with the process. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe also so, but but let's also speak about the the struggles uh, maybe you encountered during the program. So so what did you struggle with the most um, at the beginning, and and what helped you to also overcome this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is pretty much connected to the first point I mentioned to to the to the uh, to your question before. So it's really having confidence in my you know my approach to a case and my solutions and knowing that you know this makes sense and this is you know there's no one way but this is a, a good way to approach a problem and i think what helped me a lot in that is really that you you gave me a logical way of approaching a problem mm -hmm. and if i have a you know a reasoning behind why i approach a problem the way i approach it then I can approach it with confidence because I ex can explain my thinking. I can explain, you know, why I would look at these three things. And um, it's, yeah, that's, um, yeah, uh, yeah was very important. And then what helped me really, you know, absorbing this logical way of approaching a problem was your continuous expert feedback. And with expert feedback, it's not only your feedback, but also the mentee feedback because they already have um, yeah, gained some some expertise in, in solving a case as well. So the other people doing the program. Yeah. 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 And we we'll speak about this point in a second, but let me comment also on 
um, on your first point, because this is indeed also the reason why it's a multi-week program. Because it's it's uh, at the at the first moment it's so much information, and even if it's structured and also highly structured, and may, we make it as easy as possible for you to access and also to process it, your brain just learns a new skill there, and this takes time, and this feels it feels overwhelming at the very beginning, and mm -hmm. only with time and practice and and repetition, uh, you you will be able. To to master this skill, so it's uh, it's it's something we we are seeing actually uh, quite a bit with uh, nearly all mentees, to be honest. So um, it's completely understandable. And and yeah, you mentioned it already. So I think one thing, which is indeed particularly uh, cool, um, is that after the basic principles have been established, um, our mentees can practice with each other and and contrary to to uh, most other candidates out there, uh, you then also know. Um, that you can practice with people who also understand the same principles that you are working with. And you don't need to waste your time um, with a lot of random feedback or feedback that is not calibrated um, because all the other people have indeed the same background as you have. Yeah. So and I also know you practiced uh, with a quite a few of other mentees that already have received their offers <laughs> or are at the final stages. That's also pretty cool. But uh, how helpful has this peer practicing for you? Yeah, I mean, you're touching a, a crucial point in my preparation. So that was really what helped me internalizing all the things that you 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 taught us mm -hmm. to, to really um, absorb it and then um, you know, really being sure um, that I can show these skills in the interview in a very, you know, natural uh, behavior. And um, I think that was actually also one thing uh, that let me do the program because I was just frustrated with not being able to give good feedback and also not being able to, to get good feedback because how should I know um, if this is good or bad? And um, yeah, this yeah, Menti um, um, network is yeah. very, very um, helpful in that because they actually know what uh, what a good solution looks like. And um, yeah, they can give you very um, consistent feedback and um, yeah, very constructive feedback that you can can work on then. Mm -hmm. And on yeah additionally it's like really uh, um, a group of motivated people that that help you get through the process that you yeah. know makes casing a habit and and helps you um you know <laughs> staying uh keeping your motivation and and keeping your energy high and um, putting in a lot of work together and really wanting everybody to succeed um yeah. and yeah, that's yeah. I think one main main factor that that made um, yeah me getting an offer definitely. Really cool. So I mean, uh, yes, uh, from all of uh, what we can say, a, a great consulting career is waiting for you. So uh, we will watch you. Uh, you can trust on that, and uh, I, we wish you all the best. And yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you, Jörn. <laughs>